Hi guys, Rick Damoth with Cowtown USA in Cuba, Missouri, here with a brand new uh, Murhau. Eight wide, 17 foot short wall, has recliners, has the dinette, it has, it has, it has. Stainless steel, uh, protection on the front nose, dual hydraulic jacks, lockable battery box. Let me kind of give you a shot of it. Got an extra step here, or not a step, but a jack. If you get in a problem, you can actually throw it under the tire and lift it off up off the ground. Got a place here for you to fill your water buckets up with water you haul from home. You have a fresh water connection here, again, with the water you haul from home. And we have a hookup on the other side for the um, for water hose. Okay. It's pretty cloudy here this morning, but you have a lot of metallic at this point LED lighting power awning step on the outside you have 14 ply radial tires torsion suspension brakes on both axles aluminum wheels nitrous filled tires and Dexter axles okay, drop downs behind you see how wide this door is for entry on for your for your uh, for your horses all right now we have put the uh, oh I'm gonna call it a worm floor I forget what they call it but it's actually replaces the mats you have an aluminum floor underneath this so when you get home all you got to do is pick through the shavings or hose it out no mats to drag out okay you got pads on the on the butt end. A little bit of dirt here on the wall. Bars here behind the horses. Fully padded in front. Mangers, full flow, full flow through uh, dividers. Again, padded. Upgraded, massive LED lighting, so there'll be no there'll be no darkness in the trailer at all. Drop downs in front of the horses with separate feed bars. See the flow through here. A lot of air. I can feel the air just rolling through here now. So the horses are really going to like that. Okay. Two-way roof vents. I'll mention that too. With an insulated ceiling. All aluminum Murhau. Now I come over here. The rear tack is collapsible. And the saddle racks are removable and adjustable. We have LED lighting. Tail lights high. Tail lights low. Now... What's the, what's the big deal on it? Here, here's the big deal on it. You have cars that are behind you, three cars, and the semi behind them, they cannot tell what your trailer is doing. But the semi behind can see those top lights and understand there's, there, whether you're braking, turning, or whatever. Just makes the trailer a whole lot safer. LED lighting, load lights on the back, mold resistance, lining, I mean, you can hang your bridles up here, halters, whatever you're going to hang it. And they don't, they don't rub your walls black, nor do the aluminum turn your, your, uh, your equipment black. Okay. Now, we've upgraded this with a swing-out uh, ladder. So much easier to climb up on that angle than normally they're just running flat against the trailer. So this is an upgrade, which is really, really nice. Mold-resistant lining on your manger as well. Separate face bars. Again, text, Dexter axles. All that means, I'd love to tell you you'll never break down, but if you do, Dexter has parts in the town you're in, more than likely. It's your full escape door step. And then we have a deadbolt here on this door that you can go in at night and lock the door behind you. Okay, here's your city water connection that we were talking about, so you can hook to a water hose. Low point here for draining your sewers. Okay, now I'm going to walk you around here to talk about this armor plating. I'm going to mention that to you. See how much thicker that is? See the difference? All this is just, it costs more money, but it makes the trailer more rigid. It's going to make the trailer last longer because of it. It just it's not rocket science that you that this I mean you can tell by knocking on it. That's how simple it is. And not only is it gonna make your trailer 
more rigid, lasts longer, but in reality it makes it look a whole lot more pleasing to the eye than running up here and you got your armor plating there behind or underneath the doors and then all of a sudden we change to uh, the flat aluminum. Okay, and I'm going to take you on the inside here. I'll tell you, this is our first upgrade here for a while. But this has got a ranch hand interior on the inside. Ranch house interior, I should say, on the inside. Let me just open the door to kind of show you. It's comfortable. Okay. The first thing you're going to see is the steps to the bedroom. Everybody likes steps, and they like good steps, and they like a railing. This turf's got that. Then you've got your uh, theater seating, recliners. That's that's really, really nice. Your day and night shades. We also add an, an optional window there uh, beside the recliners. Okay, we finished all your speakers and all your uh, vents, air conditioner cover, all that's finished in the, in the hardwood as well. There is no vinyl wrap in this trailer. And then the floor. How cool is that floor? Let's just stay let's talk here a minute too about the uh, the dinette. First off, this dinette does fold and make you into a bed, and it has extra cushions for this, and I'll show those to you as well. I've never seen one quite like this, so this is going to be something when people walk into your into your uh, home away from home, they're, they're going to say wow when they walk in the door. Now we've got some a local lady come down, uh, Mrs. Gann and helped us decorate this. So the decorations belong to her. So I just want to tell you that. They do not belong to Cowtown. Okay, you have a flat screen TV that you can watch at the foot of the bed. I'll just kind of take you up here. Again, we'll talk about the day and night shades. What do you think about those lights? Let me see if I can get around here. I would see them a little better without the glare. I'm not very professional at this, guys, but just take my time, make sure that you able to see it. Okay, I'm just giving you a view above the bed. Do this slow. Makes it makes it kind of homey just kind of like a ranch house that's what it's about ranch house interior okay let's come down here now if you notice the color comes from the uh, from the addition so if you if you don't like the teal colors if you want to do red or brown or green or blue whatever colors you want this is a this is an open canvas for you all right now we're going to come over here show you kind of the tabletop here let me see if i can turn the lights off so you don't get the glare on it just pretty cool isn't it guys all right i'm going to back over here and i'm just going to sit down here on the couch and give you a view here what it kind of what it looks like from the couch I can tell you the chair is very comfortable they might have to come and get me out of here lots of storage lots of cabinet doors a good deep sink another flat screen TV that you can sit here watch from the couch or the dinette now we've upgraded it's this trailer is just upgrades all over it there's no way this is a standard trailer um, Upgrade the convection oven, a large one, so you can bake pizza, bread, turkey, fix the couple, fix the couple on Thanksgiving. Okay, we'll swing this around here, and we're talking about uh, taking this to the NFR, National Finals Rodeo. In fact, we're going to have this trailer at the National Finals. Sean Gann's going to pull it out and be the salesman after the next couple of weeks or so. So I want you to be part of this, let you kind of know what's going on. I think they call this a solid 
countertop. So this this is definitely an upgrade here as well. You can see the sink. Good big sink. Uh-oh. Even got a fire hose on it. That might not be the right right uh, use of the alphabets, but that's exactly the way I see it. It's a fire hose. Okay, now more cabinets, more spaces. Oh, here you go. Nice, nice pull-out pantry. How cool is that, guys? Slide that dude in there. Close that door. All soft touch woods, all solid wood. Got your chair rail all through it. Okay, pull out trash can. Okay, so we're gonna come in here with this, and then we'll come come over here to the side. Okay, somebody checking. I only thought I'd went to sleep. Got too comfortable. All right, now spin around here for you to see. I think that's what they call a, a hammered copper sink. <laughs> we got one of these at our house. In fact, we had one when I was a kid. Ours works a little nicer than it did. There's no pump on it. All right, dual mirrors. Abide by that sign. Uh, everything is solid wood. Solid wood here. Solid wood above the uh, above the shower as well. All right. Now here are the another nice big hang closet. Now these are the cushions that we told you they were going to have for the uh, for the dinette. Turn it into a bed. Nice fasteners. And these are what they call hidden hinges, wrapper, nice set of hinges, soft touch, and then I would call this a barn wood. I call it a, a ranch house, but I think I'd call it more of a barn house. That's what, what it looks like to me. And you got extra lighting, pretty cool, and the nighttime slip in here, lights overhead. Then you have a third light switch here. It operates, if you come in this door that I was telling you about with a hard lock on it, you can come in and kick your boots and all your stuff off here, and then come in, if somebody wakes you up at 3 o'clock in the morning and says, hey, your horse is loose, your boots and everything are sitting right here ready to go for you. Okay, let's uh, see what we're doing here. Upgrade to a porcelain stool. Kind of give you... Give you view from here. Didn't even mention the big fridge. Got storage here. Lots of it. Stereo inside, outside. Looks like me place CDs or DVDs or whatever you want to call it. Big freezer on the top. Fridge on the bottom. Again, solid wood. There is no vinyl wrap on this. Now here's something that, that we've upgraded this to. Let me see. Yeah, it's not locked at this point. You can't lock it. Let me do this. Shows you here what that door is going to look like. Let me get here on the other side. Now again, that is that solid wood. There is no... Uh, let me turn some lights on so you can actually see what it looks like. Looks the same on the other side. You can just actually lock it on this side. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pull that. There she goes. Lock that back over here. It's got your barn door roller on top. Look what a handle. That's pretty cool as well. So anyway, guys, this is Rick at Cowtown USA in Cuba, Missouri. Give us a call, 573-885-6300. Give us a 573-885-6300. Go to CowtownUSAINC.com. CowtownUSAINC.com. Uh, stop by our booth at Las Vegas at the uh, NFR. Sean will be, be glad to walk you through this, show you all about it. Thank you.